and welcome to my channel. If you're a first time viewer, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. So today we'll be talking about shampoos and conditioners, the right kind that would make your hair look awesome. So as we all know, we go out today and we come back with dust and whatnot in our hair. And not to brag about it, but our hair are not just hair anymore. They have become lint catchers. So how we can avoid all of that at the same time fighting problems like dandruff, um, dust, dulling hair, thinning hair and obviously like with some people lice. So let's dive into that. <laughs> Choosing the right kind of uh, shampoo and conditioner for your hair will do amazing things for you. So let's discuss the types of hairs and the shampoos that can go with it. The first type of hair that I'd like to discuss are thinning hair. So people with uh, thin hair require a shampoo which contains more of the cleansing agent. The problem with thin hair is that uh, they tend to fall with uh, dust because they're really lightweight. So volumizing shampoos will be perfect for such kind of hair. <laughs> Talking about thick hair, they are healthier but at the same time they're prone to getting dirty really fast and gather more dust uh, as well. So for such hair you require a shampoo that contains an equal amount of cleanser as well as you need to use a conditioner to nourish your hair properly. Coming to dry hair, they need a shampoo which is rich in essential oils like avocado oil, argan oil, um, coconut oil some uh, grapeseed oil, something like that, so that it can battle the dryness that already exists. So oily hair don't really need a specific type of shampoo. Their major concern is dandruff and flaky skin. So I would suggest that you should use some medi medicated anti-dandruff shampoos and that will do you wonders. Also you should look for shampoos that contain zinc or selenium sulfide. And that would really help your hair to um, lose the dandruff and get into its natural state. If you have colored hair and you regularly use color, so on the in the time period that your hair is colored, try to choose a shampoo that has uh, color preservatives in it. So that will be your best choice if you have colored hair. Hair are a pain to manage, even though they look fabulous on you. You need to take care of them very seriously. You need a shampoo that has a deep rooted nourishment and conditioning to your hair. So for something like that, I would say that always go for a shampoo that is rich in protein and is marked as the beat up solution for curly hair. A few more tips to help you find the right shampoo for you. Number one. When you're buying a shampoo, always read all the ingredients that are there and make sure that you're not allergic to any of those. If you are, always make sure that you find a shampoo that you're, uh, the ingredients of which you're not having any allergies to. Second thing, read the instructions that are given on the back of the shampoo of directions to use very carefully because sometimes it happens that uh, shampoo is not supposed to be used with cold water, uh, hot water rather than cold water because using hot water would produce more oil. Third thing, try to get more organic shampoos which contain ingredients like aloe vera or green tea, jojoba oil, things like that. So uh, this is just a few quick tips that might help you find the right shampoo for you. So now let's talk about the shampoos that uh, I have used and what was my take on those. So the first shampoo we have here is Sunsilk's pink one. <laughs> I don't really know. I mean, it's by Teddy, the hairstyle expert, and it's keratin yogurt. It's for luscious, thick, and long hair. So I've used its uh, shampoo and conditioner together, and it was a good one. Like, I was satisfied while I was using this. I usually tend to uh, oil my hair a night before and then wash it in the morning, and uh, using the shampoo, that oil, the remaining oil that is there in my hair in the morning gets uh, washed away in just uh, one time and then you can use the conditioner. So the next one I purchased uh, was this Kaya Hairs shampoo 
and it's an anti dandruff shampoo and lotion and i'd say i'm not at all not at all and not at all happy with this like this is i guess one of the worst things you can buy or maybe it was just my hair type but i hated this thing and i couldn't wait it uh, like wait for it to be over not only it did not reduce my uh, dandruff it also did not take out the oil that i had in my hair so the next one that i used was the, this dove combo which is rejuvenated volume shampoo as well as the conditioner along with it so these were all right i wouldn't say they were over the top amazing or something but yeah it did reduce a little bit of uh, hair fall for me but uh, in the long run if you see not something that i would like buy again uh what is next is uh, this is the one i'm currently using it's my biotech and it's bio walnut bark so uh, using this i think i'm in love with this one because it uh, not only takes out the oil in one wash it actually keeps my hair moist and the oil doesn't really return till at least 2 days so with my hair it has a oily uh, issue so my hair becomes oily in within one day this thing it keeps the oil at bay for at least 2 days so this is my love right now the next thing i have is these really uh, two travel friendly products by vela one is a renewing shampoo which has zero parabens and zero sulfates so it really helps fighting the frizz and the other one is a renewing mask which you're supposed to use once a week not more than that so i got these when i bought um, the vela hair mask and yeah there was some scheme going on and they sent over these and these are also pretty amazing i am planning to try out their full size products after these finish out i have a quick tip so if you have dandruff in your hair you can try this thing only if you don't have uh, allergies towards this particular medicine which is disprint so you take disprint you uh, powder you ground it and then you mix it with your shampoo you keep it for 10 minutes and then you wash it so that is bound to take away your dandruff for at least 2 3 days like a really huge amount of dandruff so that's a quick hack that i tried and it worked on me another nice tip would be that uh, when if you if you use coconut oil or any sort of oil uh, melt a kapoor tablet camphor tablet uh, with that particular oil and then use that oil and that will also help to reduce uh, your dandruff So this is it guys hope you like this video please don't forget to like it share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel people please also in the comment section below do tell me that was it video useful to you and do you have any more hair tips that you can use uh, like other people can benefit from so that is it from my side promises promises till then adios